Guys, look, I'm gonna give you some good information on how you can work that upper part of your chest so you don't have that flat chest look. So there's a couple things that go on. When you walk into an average gym, the incline press is preset, obviously. It's a bench, it doesn't adjust. And it's usually in the wrong position, it's too high. So when the bench is too high, it works too much of the shoulder and it doesn't put as much emphasis on the chest. So that's an issue. So if you have too high of an angle, it's gonna work too much shoulder. So you wanna be between uh, like 20, 30, or 40 tops. So anywhere in that angle range, and that's gonna put the most emphasis on those fibers, those clavicular fibers, that upper chest. So that's for one. And getting a weighted stretch, I think is super important to really stress those fibers. And also when you're doing incline press, don't shoot your hips way up and turn into a flat bench. I see too many people do that. They're on the incline, they're doing weight, they don't go low enough to get a weighted stretch, and then they're kind of popping their hips up to get it up. And all you're doing when you're elevating your hips, you're turning into a flat bench. So you're taking all that emphasis off the upper fibers, and it's just, it's totally pointless. Do not do that. Just reduce the weight, do a little better form. You don't have to do perfect form all the way lock out, but you need to get that weighted stretch at the very least. You need to get that weighted stretch at the bottom. So you can do it with a lot of different things. You can do it with dips, you can do it with ring, rings, you can do push-ups with the rings, and then you can converge here at this angle. You can do reverse grip bench press. That'll really hit your upper fibers. You can also do dips. You can face out, face the other way outside of the dips from this dip bar here. Like I face out this way and do the dip. So that can work really well. And honestly, it's just probably from people not training them. Not training them, just only doing push-ups. Like there's nothing wrong with push-ups. You just need to incorporate different angles and you need to do different variations. So you make sure your chest is getting developed from all angles. You know, deficit push-ups, incline push-ups, dips, ring push-ups, incline press, slight decline. Do all these different angles and then your chest will actually be developed and you will thank me later because it's gonna make such a huge difference when you do incline at the right angle. So between 20, 30, or 40, and that's just gonna nail the pec. And then I suggest a more narrow grip and kind of tuck your elbows a little bit instead of having the elbows really flared and super wide. I just feel that way more in my shoulder. So I feel when I bring in my grip, I bring my elbows because it converges or it's parallel with the fibers. If you look at the fibers of the upper chest, they kind of curve, or they're kind of an angle like this. So this goes perfect with the angle, perfect with the muscle fibers, and it just really hits that muscle. You don't have to touch your chest if your mobility is really jacked up, but try to get that weighted stretch at least in the bottom. The lockout's not super important. I kind of like to get all the way out, because obviously here, all the emphasis is off the chest and it's on the tricep. So do what you gotta do. You don't have to use a super crazy range of motion, like the Dr. Mike, you know, cyborg technique thing, cause that's just a cult. But you wanna be, it's on a spectrum. You don't wanna have super robotic, perfect technique. I mean, you can, but sometimes you're, you're missing the point if you're doing it too strict. And if you're doing it too loosey goosey and you're just doing a crazy like, woo, you know, and you're just, it's, it's no good either. So just like with anything, you wanna be somewhere on the spectrum, wherever your goals align, or your physical capabilities, or whatever you're trying to physically achieve. So guys, I just thought of this, I really wanted to help people out. If they feel like they're not developing their upper chest, or if they're not exactly sure how to do it, I hope a few things in this video helped you. And if you have any questions, concerns, comments, any feedback for me, go ahead and, and leave a comment and I will make sure to get back to you.